I mean, seriously, I like four k's of this now. It's no fun. Will you hike all or parts of the Grampians Peaks Trail? Wandering Cottages has great packages including trail transport for you. Wandering Cottages, spacious self-contained eco-villas in the heart of the Grampians. More about them and their GPT packages at the end of the video. Seriously, I like four k's of this now. It's no fun. And people are sliding off there, I hope I'm not. Walk number nine of the GPT starts from Jimmy Creek Road and uh, leads to Yarram Gap Road. It's about 12 kilometers, give or take. The trail starts at Jimmy Creek Road and um, steadily climbs up to a little saddle, maybe 300 meters higher on the Mount William Range. It's, it's definitely worth having, having a look back every now and then uh, to see Mount William and the Major Mitchell Plateau. Once you're past the emergency marker up there, um, the trail very suddenly ends. Um, it literally is, hasn't been built yet. Um, they have they have cleared um, the the um, undergrowth, so it's easy to follow. But there hasn't been any trail work being done. Like there's, it isn't benched. Uh, there aren't any steps. Um, it's just the bare ground as it was, um, and has it been for probably thousands of years, and um, it's quite uneven it's quite hard walking um, in certain sections i'd say it's it's outright dangerous because you can see how people are sliding off um, the dirt and that is in the dry the trail um, has been mainly open du um, during during summer so far um, i really don't know if i would walk this in winter at the moment because there are just sections in there which are going to be slippery uh, it's just bare earth um, at a, a steep incline uh, it's just not very good um, 
clearly they ran out of time and out of money to finish this trail there and it's gonna be fixed uh, I'm sure in the next years five years ten years um, it's, it's it's all gonna be good um, but at the moment 2022 um, it is not great in the middle uh, that's a section which is maybe four k's long and I'm not someone who minds a hard hike uh, I've really done um, hard walks rough walks um, off trail walks but the problem is if you over promise and under deliver or if the difference between the standards are so great that you get someone on this trail who thinks that they are fine with their with their um, walking abilities and then you suddenly throw them into a section which is very different than everything they had before once you get to um, Yarram campsite you're back to your normal GPT trail it's it's all new so it hasn't really grown in yet um, but the campsite itself is fantastic uh, this is how I uh, wish they all were um, fantastic view great architecture I find in in the cabin there or in the um, shelter that actually has a shelter um, two water tanks which um, in summer right now are not actually full um, you're supposed to carry uh, all your water there uh, at least there is no um, guarantee that they are full I think once once we went through the first winter there should be plenty of water in there which hopefully is then enough to support hikers so yeah absolutely love that campsite only thing I see which could be a problem is there are no doors in that in that shelter um, so if you hike this in winter which to me would be the preferred time winter or spring um, uh, and you want to cook in the evening when it's a rainy or cold day it might get a little bit miserable in in that in the shelter uh, which could have been avoided by having um, a door but um, there are none and I don't think there will be one because it's a very big opening the trail then continues towards Yarram Gap Road um, it's a little bit downhill a little bit uphill you get the idea there are a couple of good views just after Yarram campsite um, but then not so much anymore I won't give this walk a rating at this time uh, because it's not really finished and I don't think it would be fair um, if you watch this in a couple of years uh, it's probably going to be very different um, it has some nice views if I imagine this 4k section in the middle to be to be fully done I'd probably give it a 4 out of 5 it has nice views um, nothing over the top spectacular uh, but it's a very good nice walk if you want to hike this or other trails in the Grampians, Wonderland Cottages will make an ideal base for your stay. With their Grampians Peaks Trail packages, you get trail transport to and from your day's trailhead and sleep every night at your comfortable cottage. This means you only carry a day pack. Water availability on the trail is no issue. Your fridge, deck, barbecue and of course shower awaits you. NBN and electricity for your backup, recharge and communication needs. Your private washing machine and Woolies deliveries at your doorstep. And of course a comfortable bed and easy walking distance to pubs and restaurants in town. With their spacious self-contained eco-villas, Wonderland Cottages is perfect for couples, families and small groups. Located in easy walking distance to the center of Hall's Gap, yet tucked away in a quiet forest setting and bordering the National Park, Wonderland Cottages makes for great wildlife viewing. Wandering Cottages strives to minimize your holiday's ecological footprint. All toilet paper tissues and paper towel are made from bamboo. There is a water recycling system in place. All electricity is 100% green renewable and solar is in the making. All cottages have two bedrooms, a large living area with fireplace and modern aircon, a fully specked out kitchen, a bathroom with separate toilet, two private decks and a private barbecue. But don't just take my word for it. Check out the great reviews on Google, Booking.com and Airbnb. For the best price and special offers, always book direct at wonderlandcottages.com.au.